school, we grow our own food. We have a greenhouse that helps us grow food and veggies all year round. Keeps the heat inside and protects the plants from the cold and wind outside. We water our plants using big hydroponic tanks. Adding minerals to the water helps everything grow big and tasty. But you have to test the EC and the pH before water. When the plants are big enough, we move them into our outdoor garden. So they got the space to grow even bigger. Right now we're growing lots of veggies and herbs like... Rocket. Lettuce. And basil. Which is also good for making... Pesto. Growing our own food helps us learn about gardening. It's great for our planet. And tastes delicious. Cool. Hello, this is Costa's Hotline. If you grow it, then I'll know it. How can I help you? Hey Costa, I've been stuck on this really hard question. What's the climate? Oh, that is a really great question. Well, climate goes hand in hand with weather. We all know weather can be hot, cold, rainy or dry. And climate is the pattern of weather in one area over a long period of time. So in the desert in the middle of Australia, it's consistently hot and dry. That's its climate. However, in some other areas, like the rainforests of Queensland, the climate is warm and wet. There are lots of things that determine a climate, like whereabouts in the world you are, how close you are to water, what type of landscape surrounds you and how high above sea level you are. So if you're on the top of a mountain, the climate is going to be pretty cold and windy. There are lots of different types of climates all over the world. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, Costa. No worries. There's so many cool facts out there, so keep digging deeper. OK, I will. Bye. Thanks for calling Costa's Hotline. Bye. Big Picture. As our cities grow, we need more green spaces. I'm Renee, and I'm a plant biologist, which means that I study the effects of warming and drought on all sorts of plants. I've been working on a program which tries to figure out which plants will thrive in certain microclimates. We call it the Which Plant Where program. We've set up advanced glasshouses to precisely control temperature and moisture to see what conditions different plants, trees, and really, really big trees need to survive. We've tested over 2,500 species of plants and trees. So people building new green spaces know what to plant in locations across Australia. This way, we can make sure that every plant is in a place that it can thrive in. 